Today's video is going to be a special Dynamis video. That I, let me tell you something. I have made Dynamis absolutely broken. Shout out our boy Nasser who requested this video a long time ago. And in honor of the boundless, special Dynamis pendulums. Say hi to Nasser, my boy. Yo, Triff, thanks for featuring me in this video. Hope you make a killer Dynamis deck. I'm sure you will because you're the pen god. And go kick ass with it. Who knows, maybe the Dynamist core will be like 100 bucks. So shout out to my team, Team TNNT. And that's it. Peace. Thank you, Nasser. And with that being said, let's go make Dynamist great again. Let's go, baby. And before true greatness begins, guys, make sure to support your boy. Check out the beautiful Triff Gaming playmat at TriffGaming.com. Go check them out right now. Go sign up for an amazing Triff Gaming Pendulum Training Membership. Hit the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's go. I told you guys, Dynamis are underrated, right? So, as the pen god, who would I be if I proved anything otherwise? You guys are going to witness right now. Two different combo tutorials that end on crazy amounts of interruptions, negates. You guys have witnessed true greatness in action. Allure of Darkness, you want to see what you're going to draw. And next, I want you guys to see something here. We're going to normal summon the plus heals and special summon the ceratops. With this combo, obviously you're going to need dynamis charge, preferably not two of them, because you can only activate one. So this is not even the best hand, but like, look at this hand. It's really not that good. Like, yes, you're plus one right now, but... Like, the Dynamis charge you have is useless, and you don't have any other spot. It, it doesn't seem like the best hand in the world. But you know what? We're going to make the most of it, and it's still going to end on an incredible board, utilizing a crazy new combo. So, we're going to go. Uh, we're gonna link the two Dynamis into Clipboard Genius, which is really the centerpiece of this combo, which no one uses at all. This card's so underrated. This card is essentially another Crowley for you. It's a Link 2. It's like the machine version of Electrum. It's a Machine 2 that gives you a plus one, just how Crowley is a spellcaster. But... You're gonna have to waste your normal summon to go into it with Dynamis to Dynamis. Clipper uh, Dynamis Charge will go off at this point to let you add one of these back. You're gonna witness your hand. We're about to summon a servant to the field, so we're gonna wanna scale six. It's a high scale, even though it's not like that good of a high scale, but that's fine. Uh, you play one of each of different Dynamis levels, so you could like choose which levels you want. Like Dynamis Charge, I think, is incredibly broken. You guys can see why. So, Servant Window, a big brain play here. We're gonna summon the Servant. This is why the synergy is amazing with Dynamis. And Endymion, they have an amazing synergy together because Clifford Genius, you could summon two Dynamis, no problem. By normal summoning a level four and special summoning the Ceratops, going into a link two Clifford Genius, and a Servant would summon out another card at the exact same time. So the synergy is super cool. Basically, a two card combo with Servant and Charge, and the other three cards could basically be whatever the hell you want. Uh, this will now trigger Clifford Genius to get you another Dynamis. So you're going to look at your hand, you're gonna, you know what, I'm missing level five, I want to make Infinity, so you can get Dynamis Rex. So now you're going to make Infinity. A cool thing with Dynamis Rex as well is going second. It helps you clear window like no problem. Uh, and anyways, so now we're going to, before, we're going to plus a lot. Look at this plus, okay? We're going to link the two cards. The card you got back with Dynamis Charge. Super big plus. And you're going to use Abductor Effect to get Magician Souls. Now that Magician Souls is a card, it makes Dynamis Charge a pretty damn good card. Plus two. Like, you don't only get a free draw one from Souls with it. But you also get, get, you add a card, you get the card back from your extra deck to your hand, and then you draw one off souls. One card for three, and the classic to every other deck in the world. Let's go. Now we're going to, it's still not over there. Now, because you wasted your normal summon on the Dynamis card, you can't really use Crowley as a, a guaranteed draw, but you can still Crowley get a free plus one. Why would you not want to get a plus one? If you get secrets or knowledge here, you special the souls that you got from the abductor with Servant. Don't go Jackal. No one's mating Nibiru. Don't worry about Nibiru. But after game two and three, or maybe you want to play around it, that's fine. But special magician souls, and you're going to be able to secret to knowledge of souls, and then go into Crowley and do whatever, you, Celine, do whatever you want. So but we're going to reveal three, get another plus. Uh, unfortunately, get Blue Boy. <laughs> Very unfortunate. But you know what? That's fine. We're going to still use souls. We're going to save the Blue Boy for next turn. Like, we got unlucky there. We drew an extra charge. We drew an extra blue boy. That's fine. A little unlucky, but it's okay. We're going to send Mighty Master. We're going to use Soul's Effect now to get rid of both charges to draw two cards. We end up drawing Secrets of Mastery. Great. 
We're going to use secrets here to get knowledge, and we're going to knowledge away the extra blue boy in hand. Uh, that card will be able to have enough counters. We get a third dynamis charge, but that's totally fine. You're playing a 40 card deck with 13 draw cards. Obviously, you're going to draw doubles of, and that's totally fine. Now we're left with another situation. We're going to master into a mighty master. Uh, we're left with another situation. We're going to big brain play, solve it. Plus, this is a level six, uh, skill six. Uh, we're going to have to get rid of it, but that's okay. We have many ways to do it. We're going to go Selene now to summon the mighty master from the graveyard. And uh, uh, we're going to do super big brain plays here. We're going to go into an Appaloosa. We're going to keep the Mighty Master on the field. And I want you, I want you guys to see this. We're going to use Abductor to search an Abductor. Seems a little crazy, right? No. Uh, we're going to have Pendulum Summon. Uh, four cards. Ceratops, Rex, Abductor, and Abductor. This is Master Rule 5. We're going to go into an Infinity. Uh, and now we're going to go into an Abductor. Uh, Abductor is going to go into Dryden. It's going to go into Laika, which is going to go into Dryden. Sorry, I didn't have them there. Uh, Dryden is going to pop your own Plesios. So, so sorry, this is proxy there. Pl uh, once once it gets destroyed, uh, you're gonna special the Chronograph by its own effect because that Dryden destroys your cards. So it's gonna destroy Plesios to special the Chronograph and special the Mighty Master, and just like that, you have a big board over here, and then a, uh, the Dryden. You go absolute and just for even more interruptions, uh, go into a Mascarena and a Vortex. You could have done even more negates if instead of the Appaloosa, you got into a Selene, but you got your opponent is gonna try and save the Nibiru for your Pendulum Summon. But you want Appaloosa before your Pendulum Summon. So just in case to play around Nibiru in that situation. Because your opponent is not expecting the Nibiru. They're expecting a loop of Selene. And just like that, you got Appaloosa, Dryden, Infinity, Vortex, Mascarina. And a great follow-up. So it's like easy. We're going to do another uh, another one. This time the hand has no Servant. So what happens if you don't have Servant? What happens if you don't have Servant? How are you going to pull off the crazy Dynamis combo? Well, it's okay. You're still going to be able to do it the same way essentially. But a little slower. So here, we're going to special time, you special souls. You're not going to be able to trigger genius until after your pendulum summon, but we have another card for that. Uh, I'm going to show you guys why dynamis are amazing. This is all possible because of the dynamis charge, man. Dynamis are just amazing. Uh, it also lets you make Bahamut, Shark, and Toad if you really want to, and in Master Rule 5, it's pretty damn good. Here, we're going to have these. We're going to get Mighty Master with Abductor. We're going to Allure. Uh, we're not going to Desires because we want to search something specifically of Clipper Genius, which is broken. So we're not going to pendulum summon. We're going to Pendulum Summon. Uh, we want to make sure we have... We can't make Infinity with this because uh, we couldn't make Servant before. You make Infinity in th those situations. And we hard drew the Plesios. And you're not going to be able to Bahamut Shark Toad too many times. What are we going to do here? So we pen 5. Two cards are summoned at the exact same time. Clifford Genius will trigger. Well, guess what we're going to do? We're going to search Orbital Highlander because it's a level 5 or higher machine. Broken. Clifford Genius is an amazing card. Two monsters by someone at the same time. We're going to resolve Orbital now. Because of the way you're going to have exactly five monsters all the time when you search with Orbital. So, so, sorry, search Orbital with Clipper Genius. Now we're going to do this. Now we're going to Desires, get some free plus. So we're going to have lots of plus in our hand. And we're going to do lots of cool stuff here. Uh, we're going to go into Selene. We're going to go into... This is uh, Master Rule 5, so you can summon it there. I'm not even sure if Master Rule 5, how it works, if I can even put a Dryden there. But if I can, it doesn't matter. We can easily change the combo if that's not how Master Rule 5 works. Uh, so we're going to go into Absolute. We're going to go Masquerade and Vortex. We're going to summon a Dryden. Uh, we're going to link into Appaloosa. And now if you look at the graveyard, we have... Uh, wait one second. That's a mistake. We're going to go into another Selene. Selene's going to special another Mighty Master from the graveyard. And now we're going to have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different monsters. And uh, all different because you want someone with the Mighty Master instead of the Selene. That's why you don't go Appaloosa. Then you go Orbital. And now if you want to, you can go... You don't want to, like, yeah, not, don't go into Appaloosa because of the Mighty Master. So the best play actually would have not even been to summon the Ceratops, but to uh, special the Mighty Master on the opponent's turn as well. Uh, but, yeah, so that's broken. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five different interruptions. You're going to have a Dryden, an Orbital, a Mighty Master, a Mighty Master, a M Vortex. Just don't summon the Ceratops, save it. And that, that, that's amazing. Two different combo tutorials and a big-ass board, big-ass board. Uh, utilizing the power of Clifford Genius, Dynamis, Charge, everything, and you have amazing follow-ups. This is the deck profile. Absolutely amazing. I absolutely love this deck. Uh, we play one of each Dynamis because you want the option to search each of them because of Dynamis Charge. Uh, they each have their own level. Like, they each have their own power. You, you want two different level fours with different scales be to add them back with Charge, and then you want to search the best one, which is Ceratops, because you normally Dynamis, and then you special the Ceratops. Uh, and then we don't play Brachion, even though it's a very good going second, but you want to have different scales to ensure Ceratops levels and then Dynamis Rex because Dynamis Rex is another level five for infinity. 
and you want uh, Rex to destroy Winda. Uh, orbital to search in situations, and even if you hard draw the orbital, it's, it's a combo I have with the dry, with the zodiac cards to ensure that you're gonna have orbital no matter what. Uh, and one kaiju. Why? Because Salamangre is gonna be a very very popular deck, and uh, basically they're not gonna they're, they're not gonna negate your genius. They have not, no solemn strike or nothing. So you pendulum summon, and uh, they even though they don't see it coming. Clever Genius, they're going to think you're searching a Dynamis card, but Clever Genius is going to search a, a Kaiju, and they it's going to be too late for them to activate Roar. It's a big brain play, and I think it's very underrated that you could search it with your opponent not knowing, because the fact that it could uh, uh, Clever Genius could search the Kaiju, no one sees that coming whatsoever. So you kind of want to be a little ahead of the, your opponent, because your opponent is not seeing the, that uh, coming. You don't, you don't want to be playing on an equal playing field. You want to be playing with uh, knowledge that your opponent doesn't know. So it's a play that your opponent doesn't see coming that you can kind of like sneak in with your opponent not seeing. Uh, triple Souls, because it's so broken with charge. One Only one of each of the spellbook cards because you'd prefer to normal the Dynamis cards, but you still want the option to use Crowley. One of each of these, Triple Charge. The deck's amazing. Side deck. Extra deck. Uh, three, we have to take a breaker because there's no space. Only two Selene because there's no space for this one. Uh, if there was space, we'd also like to throw in one Hammer Kong and a second Chaka Nine because if you did that, you could then go Chaka Nine, Hammer Kong, uh, and another Chaka Nine on top, and then use Chaka Nine to summon a free card to link away with, but there's no space. We would also like to play Bahamut Shark and Totally Awesome, but there's no space. Uh, and then the uh, Infinity Package, Absolute Package, that's amazing. You put up in the gates like this, so easy. And the prowess of Dynamis Rex going second also makes Dynamis good going second because it's just very good. <laughs> Rex is an amazing card going second. As well as Pateran to get a free plus one. Brachion, I tried to fit in, but uh, it's just, you, you don't want more than four. You don't want too many Dynamis cards. The Dynamis cards could brick you. You don't want too many of them. Like, if you, drew, if you were to drop four Dynamis cards, it's just a bad hand. Uh, you're still going to have good negates, but you want uh, a healthy dose of Endymion cards and Dynamis cards. That's a deck. Deck's honestly amazing. Shout out, Master. That's my boy uh, for asking for the deck a long time ago for winning the giveaway. So, shout out our boy, Nasser. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button, smash the subscribe button. Check out the beautiful Trip Gaming Playmats on TripGaming.com. And if you guys want to get better at pendulums and learn how to use those combos in depth, don't forget to sign up on the Trip Gaming membership down below. Hope you guys liked the video. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.